Well, hello there, everybody. Oh, dog got to go ahead and hit my ah, tripod. All right. Today, I got something from uh, Farm Boy 30117. It's a gift, apparently. He said he was sending me something, but I still don't really know what it was. And we will find out. I hope you watch it. I just got a mail just today. Here it is. It says Smith and Wesson. I'm a P hat. Hello. Well, that's really nice. No one's ever sent me anything before, and I've never been sent a gift by anybody. So, but I don't want any gifts. I normally, I never say, you know, I've never received one before. So, uh, although I give stuff out to people, but I'll tell you what, we're gonna go wear that instead of my. Uh, Antique archaeology at. Now, yeah, let's see if this thing fits. My, yeah, I didn't have to adjust it and it fit. Go figure. Uh, well, it's really nice. I, I, I really appreciate that. Don't you, Chubbs? Huh? Oh, yeah. All right. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for sending that. And, uh, also received something else. I received a Christmas card. I don't send out Christmas cards. Um, not that I, you know, I don't like people or anything. It's just I really never have. I don't know why. Um, normally, maybe some family, but I don't even send stuff out to family normally. Even then. But anyway, so Calvin sent me. Calvin's Corner 72 sent me. Sure enough, it's a Christmas card. Uh, let's see. Merry Christmas. Best wishes for a happy new year. Thanks for my sticker you sent me and support. God bless you all, Calvin. Well, thanks, Calvin. That's my very first Christmas card. I haven't gotten a Christmas card from anybody. So, anyhow, there you are there. Um, and then... Then, um, I'm turn this around a little bit. Maybe I can see my computer screen there. I don't know if you can. Let me look here. Hold on. Take a look see. Let's see. If you can see that, Cutworm one day said, I want to know what your first car was. Well, I don't know if you can see it that well, but that is my first car I ever bought in my life. My very first one. I paid $1,050 for it. And it's a 1966 Dodge Dart GT. Had a 273 cubic inch V8 in it. And it was a real gas hog, I want to tell you. I was lucky if I got 12 to 14 miles per gallon with that thing. Really inefficient carburetor. Everything was bad on it. But I still drove it for about five years before I got rid of it. Uh, and now I see, you know, even, <laughs> I see at eBay some guys selling them for like $5,000 for one or something. So I said, who'd have thought that, that thing would go up in, in value? Uh, but anyhow, so, yeah, I've had so many cars over the years. I said, some other guys said, well, I've had one. They've had over 100 of them. I haven't had that many. I've had a total of maybe of 20 cars altogether, including what I have right now. And... Take this tag off. Ah, there we go. Clearly what I have right now, um, I've had 20 cars. 
And the ones I regret selling were my 68 Impala with 327 in it. My 1968 Dodge Charger, which everybody knows those things are really going for high dollars now. I got it from a friend of mine who had actually had it up on blocks and was redoing the brakes when I picked it up. And uh, I only gave him, I think, about $1,000 for it then um, when I got it. But those are basically the only two I really regret selling at all. Um, this one here, not so much, even though it was my first car. And uh, But my driver's license test was not taken in one of these. Um, actually, I took my driver's license test in my my mom's 1965 old Jetstar 88. A big old tank, four-door tank. And... Uh, well, my first driver's test didn't go too well, actually. Um, I think it was because when I pulled up to the <laughs> stoplight, I kind of hit the brakes a little too hard, and the guy kind of jerked forward a little bit, and then I guess I kind of stopped at a stop sign, but didn't stop long enough, and the examiner said, you almost hit that guy in the corner. I said, I didn't hit anybody. He said, he said he, was, he said he jumped back. The guy was starting to step off from the curb, and he said he jumped back when he saw me. I said, I didn't even see that. That's how bad I was. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention. So, yeah, that was an automatic fail on that one uh, for my first one. So, yeah, I had to go back in two weeks, and I retook it. Second time I retook it, yeah, no problem. Fine. Uh, but, yeah. And I've never taken a driver's license since. Driver's license test. Even when I moved here to Nevada, nope. Had to get a new license and all that. Just took the written test and that was it. Uh, because I'd already had the license for so many years. But I've never had to take another another one. Actually, I did take a, a safe driving school I, I took uh, for my company. And that's on my record too. So, and, uh, so I, I get a discount off my insurance. But, Anyhow, um, so, I don't know, I'm sort of rambling again now, uh, but that was my first experience with a car anyhow, and, uh, oh, my first speeding ticket. My first speeding ticket was when I-5 opened up, and I had just gotten the, the 68 Charger, and I was driving down the I-5 and I decided to open it up and see how fast the old buggy would go. Well, to give you an idea, I was doing, the odometer says it would do 160 on the odometer on that. It had 383 in it with a four barrel. Uh, yeah, it could really go. Um, so I chickened out at 100 and, I think it's actually about 130 miles an hour is where I chickened out. Uh, it started to slow down. Well, I was just passing Valencia, California, and lo and behold, I hear and see some lights and sirens, and oh my god, Highway Patrol is after me. California Highway Patrol came after me, um, and I had slowed down to 95 at that point when they clocked me. Had I been doing more than 100, he would have got me for reckless driving and some other stuff. But as it was... <laughs> Even after, he's, he even knocked it down farther. He says, well, I won't write it down as going any more than 75. Because he said, if you're going over 75, I'll get you for reckless driving. That'll be another really big ticket. So he was a nice enough guy and all. but So he stopped me, but the, he stopped actually me and the guy in front of me. The guy in front of me was driving far faster. And he was going to really be in trouble. He wasn't driving his own car. He was driving a school department car, and I got to get him for going faster than me. So, anyhow, that was my first, first and only speeding ticket I ever got. I've never gotten anything since. But, and I've been through, a, had a lot of cars, and anyhow, but so far, so good. I've been driving for almost 50 years, and and that's about it for me. So. Anyhow, thanks a lot, Farm Boy, for the hat. Fits great. And...
Calvin for your Christmas card, and we are out of here. Goodbye.